The Mount Tiesta just, it means the world to me. And just looking through the lens of the heart of the Mount Tiesta has changed how I go about my everyday life. It's a chance for people in our community to have their horizons widened a little bit to escape their cultural captivities and to be able to just um, embrace other cultures and be inspired by other cultures. It tears down a lot of those barriers. I mean, we enjoy the same things. How can that be? We're so different. We sound different. We look different. And so when you get into a comfortable place uh, through art or music, then we grow together. We can talk more about other things that are sensitive topics or issues that are concerning. Mount Fiesta is a beautiful exchange of not only culture, but ideas um, and beliefs. Mount Fiesta for me means a family reunion every year. The value of the Mount Fiesta to this community can be described like a tall glass of water. Yes, Thank you guys so much. Can we get a huge round of applause for Appalachian, please? Last night we had an impromptu, unplanned jam session in the backyard of uh, Gap Creek Coffee House. And I think it was Marlon that looked at me and said, Lo que estamos haciendo aquí es histórico. See? Like what we're doing here is historic. My name is Zachary Green, and I organized the Mountain Fiesta with my high school students at J. Frank White Academy, which is a part of Lincoln Memorial University in Harrogate, Tennessee. It was around the 2016 election, and there was a sense of division that was entering the narrative in a way stronger than maybe it had been before. So in the spirit of Mary Poppins, we thought a, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. And the medicine was to feed people cornbread and then feed them a tortilla. Barbecue alongside with barbacoa. Soup beans and tortillas. A bluegrass tune and then a cumbia tune. The more we plan, the more we realize that there are these really fundamental human connections between these two demographics that the narrative would tell us are far apart. And they're not. My dad is Mexican-American and my mom uh, is Appalachian. When I think about what the Mount Fiesta means for Appalachia, I think about future generations of Latinos who are growing up and will be growing up and calling a place like Appalachia home and that uh, they have a history in that region, right? And that you can be fully Latino and fully Appalachian and claim that experience as your own. Growing up as a Vietnamese American in the Appalachian region, I kind of grew up struggling and understanding what it meant to kind of hold cultural identities. The Mount Fiesta gave me this connection and, and, and realization that I am part of, of my hometown community. Growing up, part of my life in Bolivia and then living here, feeling like I don't belong anywhere. Being a third cultural kid, the Mount Fiesta has brought me close together with people who I really belong with. Why don't you come on over there? Both my mama and papa grew up in the coal mines in Bell County. Coming from Appalachia, I mean, my mom and dad and all their families are from here. And it never really occurred to me to celebrate Appalachia. It never crossed my mind. I mean, I knew to some people it was maybe not the best place to be from, 
But the Mountain Fiesta both let me love South America, which I am very passionate about. I'm a Spanish minor now, but uh, I also got to celebrate where I'm from. It's just a beautiful thing to be a part of. My family has been in Appalachia here in the tri-state area for over 200 years. And the connection that I feel to this area is something that I can't really put into words. So for me, Appalachia means home, um, but beyond that, it means family. It means love um, and it means growth. I feel like we've made a lot of progress here in Appalachia in recent years, and I'm proud to be a part of it and to continue to honor the heritage that is Appalachia while we continue to progress. We said we wouldn't talk to one another on the phone. A little time apart would tell us what we need to know. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling kind of lonely. Han habido barreras que a veces no sentimos que pertenecemos, pero creo que estamos en un momento en que las cosas están cambiando. The Mountain Fiesta, I think, is such a uh, a great example of how we can understand these these cultures and these identities as not in contradiction with each other, but actually as very closely related and connected to each other. And I think once we are able to sort of shake loose those stereotypes or able to see an event like the Mountain Fiesta or a, an identity like Mexilachin as something that's complete in its own right, Se dice que la música es el, la lengua de, de todos. Entonces, prácticamente cuando une las artes, nos podemos expresar y comunicar sin barreras. Y eso pienso yo que la música es un medio donde uno puede este, comunicarse y no hay barreras y no hay, no hay nada que nos divida en ese momento. La música y las artes breaks down all barriers. I think whether you speak the same language or you come from the Midwest or you come from the South, people can connect through music and people can communicate through music. The sound tells us how to feel or it tells us how someone feels. Um, so we're able to have and grow that empathy. Babies know to dance when they hear music, you don't have to teach them that. And when you hear a minor chord, you know how it makes you feel and you don't have to explain that to anyone. So that's one of the reasons that I think music is really um, an incredible facet of communication in like a, a cultural setting. Everybody's walking around and they're asking why. Just to see this fusion, everyone getting along, ha being happy, dancing, singing, uh, eating food. It's really, it's really spectacular. Music brings everybody together because who doesn't love to dance? Who doesn't love to sing? And when you don't know the words, you don't have to because you can just dance or you can tap your feet. In terms of arts and music, I love to see how these expressions come forward. Different cultures, different approaches, different styles, different genres, and not separating and isolating them. It brings the similarities together, and there's a beautiful exchange of what we can be. Not what we are, but what we can be as a society. Using music in this context, Latin grass, 
Appalachian or Mexalachian music as a way to tell a different story and to narrate a different experience is a really powerful way to transcend some of those borders that we hold, not just borders that we imagine physically or geographically or that exist, but the borders that we carry sort of in our communities and in our daily lives. Percevame hasta el fin del mundo que la ciudad quede bien atrás. Me voy de acá, me rango ya. What I think is so compelling about it is the basic human desire to connect and to step outside of one's own experience and one's own culture but at the same time when you're stepping out bring your culture and your experience with you and and use those things to to connect with people um, and, and find you know common threads common themes we just all connect on our traditions and what makes us who we are and i think that is a very beautiful and powerful thing We take those deeply, deeply human things that are so far apart, seemingly, geographically. Obviously, they're so far apart. How could I ever understand? It's so laid back. You come and you experience things without even trying to experience them. You become submerged in something completely new without realizing you're leaving your home. And it's so deeply human, you don't even realize that you're changing your mind until you've left. Our students here at the J. Frank White Academy are a key part in organizing that, that event. And here they are putting on this very well done, well produced community event. And they put the walkie talkies in their hands and they're making this thing happen. It's amazing to me, really. The first thing I noticed the first year I attended, it was all kids pretty much running the show. It takes a lot of guts to um, let students drive that learning. I mean, that's. That's a gutsy move. I am on the frontier with my students, learning together, and that's really exciting because it shifts the paradigm of a classroom to a you know teacher and student, and this this kind of like perception of authority and whatever it shifts it into collaboration and it shifts it into equal stance at a round table where everybody's idea is valid and everybody's bringing something valuable. I was just taking Spanish and Mr. Green was asking for new ideals to kind of like see what the students were thinking. And I was talking specifically, like it just happened to be things about the social media. So Mr. Green's like, okay, do it. I was like, um, what? I was like, you want me to do that? And um, it was, I just, I, I became a part of the community through, um, through that ex the opportunity that he gave me. He didn't really know me. It was my first time in the class. And he just said, do it. And I was just like, having him trust me to take on that part of the festival um, was huge to me. And it just gave me a sense of community that younger me would have always have wanted. Um, in just the small town environment, I feel like I'm a part of this community and I know the business owners and the people around me and I just feel like I matter here because of the MTS. I mean, dry my tears now. <laughs> Students learn confidence in how to develop themselves as a person and who their community needs them to be and who they want to see themselves become. It was really empowering. No one had ever told me you can do this. And not only that, I was testing my Spanish skills out at the time, so he would 
let me talk on the phone to native Spanish speakers and I got to test my language and all my skills. It was very challenging and the most rewarding project I've been a part of. I've been involved in Ampiesta since I was in sixth grade, so about five or six years. I will leave knowing that I have taught others a lot of what I learned over the past couple of years. I know that it has taught me a lot of skills that I will be able to use in the future. The growth that I've seen in my child since her involvement in Mountain Fiesta has been amazing and very touching and awe-inspiring. They'll be different kids. They're going to grow up differently than, than they would have. Oh, mm -hmm.